Hey, this is 20 Movie Man, and I've watched two movies this weekend so far, so I thought I'd do a split review. First off, The Possession. It stars Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Kira Sedgwick, and it's about a couple that is divorced. They're, they have to choose who has the kids stay with them, and one weekend, the kids stayed with their dad, and they went to a yard sale and found a box that had no seams. So the youngest girl found it and was starting to mess with it, ended up opening it up, finding a ring and stuff. And it possessed her, so the whole movie they're trying to get around possessed and everything. It's basically a Jewish exorcist, is how I say it. Yeah. It was a fair movie. It's PG-13 horror movie, so what would you expect? But for a PG-13 horror movie, I thought it was pretty good. But Sam Raimi's been good at doing that before. He made Drag Me to Hell, which I thought was good. It didn't have the best ending, but it was an okay movie. So yeah, for The Possession, I'd have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So yeah, it was, it was an okay movie. Next up is Lawless, starring Shia LaBeouf, Tom Hardy, Gary Oldman, and Guy Pearce. It's about three brothers who run Moonshine, so they're bootleggers, and one day, a new like deputy or whatever comes to town, played by Guy Pierce, and he tries to ruin their business. So yeah, to get them to stop, he just starts beating each brother up one by one, and he sends some guys to slit Tom Hardy's throat and stuff. So they decided to get back at him right after the last straw. And this is what all happens. It was pretty good. It's one of the best Shia Buff movies I've seen, and I didn't really like Transformers that much. I thought it was just okay. <laughs> one thing about it is, in every Shia Buff movie, he always cries. Yeah, and this one's no different. Yeah, then Tom Hardy, this is all he does the whole movie. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, he doesn't really talk, he just grunts. Talks a little bit, but it's understandable about what happens to him. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. I have to give it a 9 out of 10. Because it was a really good story, but they could give room for improvement. This is 20 Man signing off. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like this video. That would I say. Right, bye.